Discipline team. They don't give up a whole lot offensively for us. There weren't a whole lot of opportunities, and you know I think it was a good test for us, and um, obviously some difficult lessons to learn. Questions for Coach? It seemed like uh, you almost want to separate the first period from the second and third. Things were pretty even from that second period. Um. I mean, I thought the third period was nice to see us come out and continue to have. Um, the same energy. Um, I didn't think that we, we were able to match them in the second period really either, but in the third period I thought, I thought we showed a lot of character in that regard to just keep going and keep trying to generate opportunities. Um, it's very, very difficult to score three goals against Quinnipiac and I think they've given up two goals the entire season. So. Um, I guess was there a notable drop in energy without um, Jill and Brianne and obviously Dante this weekend? I don't think so. I don't think the energy was the issue. I think um, it's learning to execute defensively. I think we had a, a pretty good example of what that means today. Couldn't be sure what it, what it means to execute uh, at a really top defensive level. So, Coach. I, yeah, I thought, our kids, I thought our kids had a lot of energy, a lot of spirit. <laughs> Coach, a tough loss today to a number five ranked Quinnipiac team. Now with 13 days off, coming into Ivy League play against Ron and Yale, what adjustments will you look to make? Well, it'll be um, this week. We'll, we still won't have uh, Jill and Brianna and Coach Dara back. Um, so this week will be kind of like a training camp opportunity for the girls that are here. Um, we're going to work hard and, and push them with their fitness levels. Um, and then when the team, the whole team gets back together, it'll be nice to be able to address. Um, all of the challenges that we had here at the end of the season to be able to move forward. Was uh, there any indecision with sticking with Paul today, or was it a pretty easy choice? I mean, I thought Amelia played very well for us in the, um, in the game against Princeton yesterday, but Paul has already shown in practice and against Boston College. She played really well despite the fact that we gave up a lot of goals. Um, Paula, I thought, gave us a good chance to be in the game today. Um, the goals that we gave up in the first period, I don't think she really had much of a chance on, and I thought she played well for us today. Also, uh, Taylor Woods really did an excellent job on face-offs today and, and helped at least generate some opportunities there. Yeah, I mean, Woodsy does a lot of little things right for us, so I'm surprised to see her doing well in the face-off circle. Coach, and over the first four games of the season, your team has given up 20 goals now. Um, like I said, with those 14 days off, what adjustments will you look to make so that your team will be able to capture their first win of the season? I mean, I don't think we're ready to abandon any of our um, our structure yet. I think we need to learn to execute that better, be aware of our decision making within the structure. Um, and I think playing against Boston College, it's one of the best offensive teams in the country. Um, you know, I, I think the goals that we gave up yesterday was. That was, that was definitely tough to score with five goals uh, in that game. And I thought we were better in a lot of ways today. So we are making some progress in that game. Your uh, reaction to uh, today's game and then the weekend as a whole? I think um, the weekend was hard, obviously. Um, we had some struggles. We definitely need to get better at a couple things. But we worked really hard, and everyone gave it their all to the end. Um, I think that's something that we're going to build off of. So once you have the hard work, you just need to work on the technical stuff. So I think that's going to be what we're going to work on for next time. Well, uh, after giving up those three first period goals, your team was able to hold the score at three. And you yourself was able to lead the team with 27 saves. Um, can you speak a little bit about your team's resilience and how you were able to keep the score at three zero? Yeah, I think like after three goals in the first period, it was obviously hard. Like the first period was hard in general. We only had two shots, um, but we came in after the first period and we just like we regathered ourselves and we were just able to go out there and we we're like, we can do this. Like we can hold them off. Like we're a good team. We can work together and um, we're strong enough to do this. And I think it was just a change of mentality, um, which helped us through the rest of the game. But um, obviously, it's still a disappointment. 
did you see a noticeable improvement on the defensive end from last night in BC? Um, yeah, I think like our defensive zone, we're like doing new things. So it's obviously it's hard for everyone. It's hard for me. It's hard for the defense on the forwards. Um, but I definitely do think we're improving and we're starting to get a hand of it. Um, we have a young defensive core, so that's obviously um, something that's we're going to need to work on. Um, and they're they're going to grow. Like they're amazing. So um, I think as the year progresses, it's going to get a lot better. It seems like if you look at the latter stage to this game, things really are, you could almost see it starting to come together during those last 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So the, la the last period was great. I mean, I thought we outplayed them for the last period. Um, we just, like, we got shots from the perimeter, but we couldn't get anything, like, really in close. But, um, yeah, I think, like, yeah, it's, there's some good signs and there's some good things that have happened. So um, I think it's all uphill from here, right? So should be. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this, on how this weekend unfolds? Um, I think everything's a process, so I think that we're a young team, uh, we're just starting to play together, so I think we have to like look forward and not look back. Yeah, we, we lost the past four games, but I think we've been improving ever since we started uh, the season. So I think we just got to keep looking forward and keep working as a team. I think right now being a team will be the most important thing, and we just got to keep going that direction. How do you see the, the defensive core developing? Yeah, I mean, again, um, we're just starting to play together, right? So it's just a process, like I said. We just got to keep going, and that way, defensive zone is always the hardest part. And once we got that down, we'll be golden. I think uh, I've always already seen improvement from what we worked on this week. So we just got to keep going that way, and there's no room to panic. We just got to. I'm really confident in all the defense, and I think we're ready for the next two weeks. So. How difficult was it to manage without Coach Dara and Jill and Brian this weekend? I mean, it's a team, right? So it's not two players that make a team. Obviously, they're a big part of it because they're such great leaders, and not having them in the dressing room makes a big difference. But I think we still felt like they were there, and we we still have other like 18 other players, right? So obviously, it makes a difference. But I think that we're we're really tight together, and it shouldn't be making a big deal. So we just got to keep pushing. What were some of the things that that Coach Danny went over uh, after today's game? I mean, again, um, it's just to like keep working on that D zone and to like keep on working hard, but to to do it smarter. So we just gotta get to get those little details all cleaned up, and then we'll be we'll be good again. It's just gotta be ready to like make those passes when you're tired. And so now we're getting on that conditioning level, and then once we'll have that down, and those details will all be cleaned up, and we'll be good to go.